and many a times two different labels are given for the same activity of the same individual for example for the 60 years back when we were ruled by the britishers when they were controlling india there were certain indians who were fighting for their freedom these group of indian by the british government they were labeled as terrorist but those same people by the common indians we call them as patriots as freedom fighters same individual same activity two different label one group is calling them a terrorist the other group is calling them freedom fighters patriots same individual same activity two different label therefore before you give a label you have to try and find out what is the reason that the person is giving the label if you agree with the british government that britain had a right to rule over india you would call all these people as terrorist but if you agree with the view of the common indians that the britishers came to india to do business they had no right to rule over us then you would call these people as freedom fighters same people same activity two different labels and i'd like to give one more example of nelson mandela who was the ex president of the new free south africa and we know that by the previous government the white apartheid government they called nelson mandela earlier as a terrorist and they imprisoned him in robben islands for more than 25 years but the same person by the indigenous south africans they called him as a hero same person same activity two different label if you agree with the previous white apartheid government of south africa that the color of the skin makes you superior if your skin's color is white it makes you superior then we all have to agree that one of the greatest terrorist on earth was nelson mandela but if you agree with the view of the south africans the original inhabitants of south africa that the color of the skin does not make you superior or same as is mentioned in the quran in surah hujurat chapter 49 verse number 13 it says ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnakum min zakrin wa unsa wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila litarfu inna kamuk min allahi yatqakum inna allaha alimun khabir oh human kind we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other not that you shall despise each other and the most honored in the sight of almighty god is the person who has taqwa the criteria for judgment in the sight of almighty god is not color of the skin it's not sex it's not wealth but it is taqwa it is righteousness it is piety it is god consciousness so if you agree with the view of the quran and as our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he said in the farewell pilgrimage in the hajjatul wada he said that no arab is superior to a non arab neither is a non arab superior to an arab no white man is superior to a black neither is a black man superior to a white except by virtue so if you agree with the view of the quran and the saying of blood prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you would not call nelson mandela the terrorist but you would call a person who's fighting for his rights therefore before any person gives any label to any individual for any of his act we have to first analyze for what reason is he doing that